guys, I'm Alana and welcome to Button Bash. Today I'm going to be finishing off a series of videos we've been putting up here covering all the major game releases in 2015 and man are there a lot of them, more than I anticipated. Today we're going to be talking about games that don't have release dates starting with the letter T right through to the end of the alphabet because alphabetical order seems to be the only way to get this out. Make sure to check out the previous videos so you're up to date and here goes. The Elder Scrolls Online, the MMORPG from Bethesda, is finally going to be making its way to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One after pretty massive delays for the console releases. It's the first game in the Elder Scrolls franchise, which includes Oblivion and Skyrim of course, to be an open-ended multiplayer experience, let alone an online-only one. It's set an entire millennium before Skyrim and about 800 years before Morrowind and Oblivion, with the Daedric Prince playing the main bad guy in the plot. It's set to play very similarly to the PC version, which is to say, like a pretty standard MMORPG. You can join one of three factions in Tamriel and choose from a handful of races that have existed in previous Elder Scrolls lore. I think it's pretty exciting having another MMO come to consoles and the Elder Scrolls Online is set to arrive on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 in early 2015. A new Tomb Raider game called Rise of the Tomb Raider is expected to release on the Xbox 360 and Xbox One late in 2015, but it will likely release on other platforms at a later date as this one is just a timed exclusive. It's a sequel to the 2013 Tomb Raider reboot with Lara Croft apparently dealing with some post-Tomb Raiding trauma. Camilla Luddington is going to play Lara Croft once again and we can assume many of the mechanics will be similar with Lara wielding guns, climbing mountains and solving puzzles to make her way through some caves. That's all we know so far though, but I guess we'll find out more at the end of 2015. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End will be coming our way in 2015 and like previous Uncharted games will be a third person action adventure slash shooter being developed by Naughty Dog, but this time exclusively for the PlayStation 4. It's set several years after Uncharted 3 with an older Nathan Drake trying to uncover the secrets of a historical conspiracy about some pirate treasure. Naughty Dog said the game is Drake's greatest adventure yet and will require him to make some hefty sacrifices to save the ones he loves, which is interesting considering his brother has actually appeared in a recent gameplay demo. Interesting indeed. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End sounds like it might be the last game in the Uncharted series and is set to release sometime in 2015. What is easily one of my personal most anticipated games of 2015 is the new Legend of Zelda game, which is currently just being called The Legend of Zelda or Zelda Wii U. It's going to be another action adventure, but this time set in a fully connected open world with players able to choose what order they visit dungeons in. There's also supposed to be less emphasis on defined entrances and exits in dungeons, so maybe there are multiple ways to approach them. I feel like this is going to throw off the format that Zelda is known for though, where you often need to get an item within a dungeon to get out of it, and I kind of love that format. You can also ride a Pona throughout the game world with semi-automated riding so Link can shoot at enemies from horseback and even leap off a Pona to enter into a slow motion for better aim. We don't know much else about Zelda Wii U except that it's supposed to rethink the conventions of Zelda and is set to release in 2015. It should also be mentioned that a re-release of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask will be making it to the 3DS next year too. And that's most of the games that are coming out in 2015 fully covered, or at least all the big ones we have time for. But hey, be sure to let me know about some of the games I didn't mention that you're particularly excited about. I'd love to hear it. I'm Milana, and thanks for watching Button Bash.